TED Talks are some of the most educational and inspirational talks in the world. They are phenomenal, covering a wide range of topics. Here is our take on top 10 TED Talks that everyone interested in law should watch. Welcome to Law Pundits. If law interests you and you want to learn more about law, then please subscribe. At number 10, we have How I Defend the Rule of Law by Kimberly Motley. As the only Western lawyer practicing in the courts of Afghanistan, Kimberly Motley speaks about her practice and how she is upholding the rule of law in a country which is ranked among the lowest in the rule of law index. In this talk, she shows how a country's law can bring both justice and justness using the law for its intended purpose to protect. At number nine, we have how judges can show respect. If you have been to courts or you have watched court proceedings in the television, you might have noticed how judges can be an intimidating figure. In this talk, Judge Victoria Pratt who is a pioneering judge in the courts of New Jersey, talks about the principles of procedural justice. She makes the case for courts to treat everyone with respect. She shows how delivering the justice differs when people are treated with respect. At number 8, we have the world's first AI legal assistant. Here, this is a slightly different format of the usual TED Talks. In this talk by Andrew Aruda, who is the CEO and founder of Ross Intelligence, an artificial intelligence firm specializing in law, this talk gives you a significant insight on the changing dynamics of law and legal system. It's even more important if you are not aware of what are the changes that is happening in the legal industry. This talk shows you how one company has applied artificial intelligence to the legal industry and how technology can change the practice of law as we know it. At number seven, we have how I help free innocent people from prison. Over the course of his career, Professor Ronald Sullivan from Harvard Law School has helped free more than 6,000 innocent people from prison. In this absolutely must not miss talk, he shares heartbreaking stories of how and why people end up being put in jail for something they did not do and the consequences in their life and the lives of others. Lawyers and law students have a duty to the society to make it a little bit more just. Watch this talk to get inspired. At number six, we have Let's Simplify Legal Jargon. Even though it has been 10 years since this talk on how to make legal language more simplified for everyone to understand, And I can safely say that a lot of effort has been done by many stakeholders of the legal industry to simplify law for everyone. This talk still remains a very important one even today. In this talk, Alan Siegel makes the key argument for simple and sensible use of legal language in plain English to make legal documents and Legal people work intelligible so to everyone. At number five, we have four ways to fix a broken legal system. Personally, I have been a fan of the robust American legal system for their ability to resolve most disputes effectively through courts and judges. However, it is also a society that is highly litigious, making it difficult for people to carry on their jobs for the fear of lawsuits. Even essential services like doctors, nurses and teachers find it hard to do their jobs for the fear of being sued. In this talk by Philip Howard, who is a lawyer, he puts forth the proposition for fixing a broken legal system. 
At number four, we have a juror's reflection on death penalty. If you are a lawyer or a law student or even a member of the society who would at some point in your life thought about capital punishment, although it is abolished in many countries, there are many places where capital punishment still exists as a form of punishment. The death penalty or capital punishment uh, is a debate for many people in a capital murder trial in 1994 in the United States Lindsay Lou Eisenhood served as juror number two and voted for death penalty for the accused in the case an experience that she says has changed her life she's not a law professor or a lawyer but her take on capital punishment is worth listening to by everyone no matter what side of the aisle you are in At number three, we have a prosecutor's vision for a better justice system. In this talk by Adam Foss, who is a prosecutor with the Suffolk County District Attorney's Office in Boston, he speaks about the need for a justice system that is drastically different from what it is currently. In this talk, he explores the different choices that a judge is presented with when someone is brought before him for prosecution. He analyzes if the best course of action is to prosecute to the full extent permitted by law or if there are better options. At number two, we have the death row to law graduate. This is a personal favorite of mine. I was fortunate enough to have listened to this talk live in 2017 at Arusha, Tanzania for the TED Global where this talk was delivered. The day before his talk, I had the opportunity to chat for a bit with Peter Oko, a remarkable gentleman who had a very interesting mission of educating prisoners about law. He himself has been falsely imprisoned for about 18 years for a crime he did not commit. During his time in prison, he had learned the law and he's on a mission to teach law to people in prison. In this talk, Peter talks about life in prison and how he was freed and about his current mission. At number one, we have laws that choke creativity. American academic attorney and political activist and one of Internet's most celebrated lawyer, Larry Lessig, uh, speaks about how stringent IP laws can interfere with creativity. Lessig has been a very vocal and long-time proponent of reduced legal restrictions of IP law, particularly in technology application. He's also the founder of Creative Commons, millions of content creators around the world all youtubers all uh, instagrammers the tiktok artists everyone should owe a great deal of gratitude towards this man a talk that is essential for everyone to watch so what do you think what are the most interesting talks in law for you thank you for watching and if you haven't subscribed please subscribe to listen to interesting talks on law